fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today, I am here for day seven of my advent uh, slash whipping chats. So I'm just going to jump in. Um, it is once again upside down because number seven is up here at the top. And so to make it a little easier for me while I'm working, working on number seven, I am going to uh, just jump in. So let me zoom in a little bit and then I will move my canvas around a tad so that I can get it centered. So, okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, and I forgot my timer. So I'll just have to see how it goes. So. I can always time this video and see how it goes from there. So we'll see. All right. So I'm just going to jump in with number F or letter F, I guess, not number. And let's see. Oh, wow. Is that the only one? Uh, it looks like it. Okay. Wow. Okay. I thought I saw at least two, but I guess not. Okay, so then let's do B. I'm excited with how this one is going so far. I'm liking what it looks like. I'm liking all the colors. It seems nice and colorful. So I'm hoping nobody knows what it is yet still though. This has been a, a lot of fun for me just to, well, it's taught me a few things. One, it's taught me that I can do a video every day, um, even a longer video. When I first started, you know, doing my YouTube channel, everything seemed like big, you know, um, it was going to be a lot of work to, um, get all my videos not only recorded but then to also edit them and get them uploaded and you know definitely there is a learning curve and it's taken me a while but I feel like I'm better and faster at it than I was when I started which is good right it would be terrible if I was slower and worse at it okay so I think that's all the B's and I just have a couple of question marks, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. So it's been a good day. It's been a good week, even though it's early in the week. Um, bills are all caught up. That's always a good thing. Um, the bills from my husband's surgery have started rolling in so that's not going to be fun but you know what can you do you got to pay your bills right so um that'll be nice and then we received a letter in the mail from my son's one of my son's colleges that he took dual credit courses when he was in high school and then he transferred to another college to finish his degree. So the first college that he went to, we got a letter in the mail that we'll be receiving some refunds on some of his tuition um, because he was taking those classes during 2020 um, when everything hit and then things kind of hit the fan. So not really sure why, but you know, it's money at Christmas time. So, and I, I don't really know the letter was kind of weird because it came from the college, but it wasn't on the college's letterhead, but it was in the college's envelopes. I don't know if they just ran out of letterhead that day. That just seemed kind of odd. Uh, where's V? Yeah. It's one of those weird ones. Cause I didn't get the it's a lot of one-off colors in this one. Just one V. 
and I see 1k maybe that's why I ended up with so many colors because some of them are just one here and one there oops what did I grab this is in okay so I pull them out and then the lids are open and the lids have the stickers of the symbols on them and I'm like wait which one did I just pull whoops because sadly, yes, as I get older, I can lose track of things that quickly. So it's going to be a fun week at work this week. Um, we had a birthday yesterday. We're going to have another birthday tomorrow. So and then next week, really, the only days of class we have are going to be party days. The kids are going to get a dress up in their Christmas pajamas and we're going to watch a Christmas movie and eat popcorn and then we get to have um, our Christmas party. So the parents will come in and have, you know, activities and snacks and things for the kids to do all kind of Christmas themed. So the kids always have a ball. We have this week they are we always have the kids make an ornament so they're painting those i'm gonna need some more of these and then it will be time for parties and time to go home for christmas break which for me <laughs> my uh, youngest and i have dentist appointments so i get to go to the dentist never my favorite thing to do and especially right before Christmas Ugh. so but has to be done so we're doing that and yeah I'm hoping that I'll feel like I get an actual kind of vacation Monday I got up and went into work really early I typically go in either on Friday or on um, well, I typically go in on Friday right after school would be getting out or sometimes rarely, more rarely, I will go, um, in on Sunday afternoon, um, and kind of clean up everything, put all the old stuff for the little week before away and get out all the stuff for the upcoming week. I didn't do that this week. And so I had to go in and get all that done. So I went in early this morning just so I could get that done. And always feels good to kind of get those things done and mark them off my plate. Let's see, I need a T. T's and E's. Oh, and then a plus. I don't know if I've done any of the pluses before. Let's see. This is a T, right? Yes. Okay, this is the T's. Once again, I get busy talking and then I'm like, wait, which one did I pull out? So, yeah, lots of one-offs one in here. So this would be kind of crazy if I was doing bigger sections, I guess, for all the confetti that would be in here. This kind of looks like a flower. I'm assuming that's what this is. It looks a little weird to me because it's upside down. So, but I think that's what it is. So I'll turn it around, I'll see. I guess it's upside down for you guys right now too, huh? I guess I could turn the filming around so that it wasn't upside down for you guys, but there's the fun in that. I've got to keep you guys guessing, don't I? All right, Z, let me do the Z's. Oh gosh, I just realized there's an R in there too. Okay, I just got all kinds of colors in here. Okay, I'm going to do M's, I think, just to kind of fill in those sections and then see where I end up, since there's quite a few of those. When you diamond paint, is, is that how you do it? Do you 
Do you do kind of all your one-offs first and then fill in the big sections? Or do you do your big sections first and then fill in the one-offs? I do a little bit of both. It probably depends on the day, which way I do what they are. Oh, I'm going to cough. I need to drink. I remembered to bring my hot tea in here with me today. It's getting cold where we are. We actually have not gone outside at preschool because it's so cold. Also because we have big projects that we're working on that just take some time. But the kids were enjoying it, so it's all good. So I'm excited to see how they react to being able to wear their pajamas and have um, the Christmas movie. Because we actually pop popcorn for the kids and let them eat popcorn. We all go into one room instead of being split into two. And the kids have a really good time just kind of all sitting together. And it's an older movie that a lot of the kids haven't seen before. So... It's actually a movie that my family watched a lot as a kid called Nestor the Long Eared Donkey. It's one of those Rankin and Bass movies um, with the kind of stop motion. They're not claymation. They're like, they look like little stuffed animals kind of, you know, like Rudolph and the Abominable Snowman. Um, same people. In fact, I think that Rudolph movie is actually on that same DVD. Um, but Nestor is just a, a movie that we used to watch all the time when I was a kid. And it's a movie that a lot of kids have never heard of. Um, and they actually don't play it a lot on TV anymore. So, um, a couple of years ago, my sister and I both got copies of it. So we would have it. And then we discovered that, you know, the kids and the teachers, the other teachers at work had not seen it. So we decided one year that we would um, show it instead of, I think they used to just used to do, well, some kind of Christmas movie. I don't even know what. And um, we did Nestor and they just loved it. And so the last few years, that has been the movie that we've shown. So it's fun and it's cute. A little Bambi-esque, but... The kids like it. And they like getting to eat popcorn. We should make some hot chocolate this year. I should suggest that. Make some hot chocolate because it's probably going to be pretty cold that day. We don't usually go outside that day anyway, but... And that's going to be the last day that we have school before everyone leaves for a break. So... And then when we come back from break, it's always like, it's almost like starting a brand new school year because they've been gone for so long that they will have forgotten all the rules and how things work at preschool. And so we'll spend a couple of weeks kind of getting back into the swing of things just in time to go uh, on spring break. And then the cycle repeats. And so... You know, we have some really good kids this year, so I'm excited. I'm hoping to spend some time over my break uh, finishing up my lesson plans. I have everything planned through spring break, but I need to um, finish planning everything after spring break. So I'm going to be working on that. Hopefully I'm going to be working on some more diamond paintings. I've got a few more specials that I would like to um, get done before the end of the year. I finished one yesterday and it is now in my portfolio. So that's one more to add to my finish list. And then I have two or three more that I would like to get done um, beyond that one. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of them We'll see. Um, I'm definitely going to finish my Paint With Diamonds canvas that I'm working on. Um, 
So that'll be one. And then if I get one or two of the other special projects done that I wanted to finish, then I can add those into my finishes. And of course I'll finish this one um, because it will be done on December 24th. But Yeah, we'll just have to, I'll have to see. I'm hoping I can get one more big project done over the holidays while I have time off from work and I can get some diamond painting done. But, you know, for me, it never, I'll think I'm going to have all this diamond painting time and then I end up working on other stuff and I just don't ever seem to get as much time in as I think I'm going to. So, and I need to work on, I don't like the way that diamond looks, Get that out of there and get a new one. <clears throat> um, I'm working on, you know, my projects and kind of my schedule and how I want to do things next year in 2022 and the projects that I want to do. I sat down a couple of days ago and kind of made myself a, just like a, I took a calendar and kind of made a a rough outline of what things I want to do in each month. And I know that will, it will probably change just because, you know, that's the nature of things. I'll plan something and then I'll have to, to change it up and that's okay. But okay. All I have is ampersands left. So there we go. Maybe I'll try and do some multi-placing on this one. <clears throat> Maybe if my glue dot cooperates. That is a piece of trash. So we'll see. Like I said, I don't know, you know, how far I'm going to get. I've got ideas for lots of projects, but I'm also going to try and be better next year about kind of sticking to a budget, which my husband told me he doesn't, you know, if I'm enjoying it, then he's fine with me spending the money, but I want to pay more attention and be more mindful of what I'm doing and not just, you know, kind of spending money willy nilly. I mean, goodness knows I've got enough diamond paintings to last me for at least several years, um, probably. I have a ton of small paintings and I have a bunch of um, larger ones from Diamond Art Club and everything. And I probably, before the end of the year, will do, well, I say that. I don't know if it'll be the end of the year or at the beginning of the year, but I'll do another stash video. Might be better to wait until the end of the year just to see if I actually buy anything else. I'm not planning on it, but you know, if I got, if I get some money for Christmas or something, I might decide that, you know, I can afford to get something or who knows. I did get a notice today. I, my husband's birthday gift, which I had already purchased because it wasn't supposed to be back in stock until, well, when I ordered it, they told me that I wouldn't get it until like January 6th or 7th. And that's around his birthday. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I just got a note today that it will be here uh, just in a couple of days. So they must have got it restocked a lot sooner than they had anticipated since they were telling me January and now it's going to be here in just a couple of days, which I find kind of crazy, but I'll take it. The way shipping is going, I'm cool with it arriving early. All right, come on. It's not going to... My multi-placer is being stubborn. Yeah. 
don't know why it's being so stubborn, but it is. Ooh, that's a misshapen one. Try to pull the ones that are obviously misshapen out of the way before I do any placing because I don't want them to accidentally make their way into the painting. This is going to be a pretty bright red flower when it's done. I was watching someone else's advent calendar today and it's a mystery one, but it looks like it's going to be Christmas themed, which is fun because I almost did a mystery one, but that's kind of why I didn't because, you know, it would be fun if it, you knew it was going to be Christmas themed and it was a Christmas advent. So, I mean, not that there would be anything wrong with it if it was anything else, but I just think it would be more fun if it was, you know, timely. So... It's always fun to kind of try and figure out what the picture is because sometimes I will think it is one thing and then once it gets done, uh, I was not even anywhere close. Someone was doing a mystery painting one time and I thought it was going to be something completely different. It ended up being an animal and I thought it was going to be something completely different. I don't even remember what, but all the people who were saying that it was going to be an animal, I was like, oh no, see this here. It just looks, it's amazing how people's brains work and how everyone can kind of look at the same thing and everybody sees something different. So, but I love watching them. I love watching people do them and see what they're going to turn out to be. I watched somebody do one once where the person doing it didn't know what it was going to be. The rest of us who were watching had kind of been given the down low on what it was by someone else. And so a lot of us watching knew what the picture, eventual picture was going to be, but the person doing the diamond painting didn't. That was interesting too, with all of the people watching, knowing, and then watching the person doing it, trying to figure it out. And so... Mystery paintings can be fun. And I was looking at this weekend, Craftably had some more announcements about previews, sneak peeks, whatever, of ones that they're saying that they're going to be releasing. I wish they would say when, because some of the images I really, really love. And I like Craftably's kits and quality. I think they're really good. So I would love to buy some kits from them, but all the new releases that they had coming up to Christmas were either Jasmine Beckett Griffith or Sheena Pike, it seemed like. And the Sheena Pike ones, I just, while they're cute and I like them, they're too monochromatic for me. I just... I don't want to do a whole bunch of purple or a whole bunch of pink, you know, in the paint, in a painting, maybe someday, but so far, no. And I've already said, you know, why I didn't really like the Jasmine Beckett Griffith ones. Not that I don't like her art. It's just, they all kind of look the same to me. So, which, you know, I say that and then I own a whole bunch of the Spangler Dragon. So I don't know. I think it's just what appeals to you, but Okay, so there is the flower. Let me turn it around here so you guys can see it. I'm assuming that's what that is, is a flower. There we go. There it is there. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see. Okay, oops, I need to zoom out some more, don't I? Okay, so there, can you see the very bottom? Not quite. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Whoa. Okay. Now you can see the whole thing. So we've got these three connected pieces up here. So I I'm assuming that's leaves and then a flower down here. 
I like how it's got these little dots on it, the little dots of the darker red color. I think that looks really good. And then, oh, maybe that's part of a flower right there, petals sticking down. So I'm interested if any of you guys have any idea what it is yet. If you do, leave me a comment down below. So that was the end of day number seven. So the next time we'll be going to number eight, which is down here. So ooh, it'll connect to this one. Maybe we'll get a little bit more of a clue. So uh, yeah, look for that after this. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps me out immensely. And hit that bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future uploads. See you next time, guys.